Hi guys, I'm Madeline here at Lakeside Table, and right here, right now, we are going to demystify hollandaise sauce. So after this video, in just a few minutes, you'll be able to make a perfectly smooth, rich, creamy hollandaise in just minutes. Hollandaise sauce is what you want to finish off your Eggs Benedict, and it's also great on asparagus, salmon, and chicken. At the end of this video, we're gonna go over some troubleshooting tips to make sure your hollandaise sauce comes out perfectly every time. So you definitely wanna stick around for that. But right now, go ahead and get your ingredients all together. So when you're making this, the only bit of special equipment that you're gonna need is either a blender or mini blender, mini food processor, or an immersion blender. If you're using an immersion blender, make sure your vessel definitely fits properly. All right, so go ahead and we'll start off by melting a stick of butter or eight tablespoons of butter. We've got this guy getting pretty close. All right, so he's good. And then while your butter is melting, go ahead and get your egg yolk into your vessel. And make sure it's just the yolk, not the egg white done that before and it's had a hard time setting up and then wash your hands if you're poking around with raw egg with your hands okay and then your lemon juice uh, about a tablespoon of water cold water get that in there and just a pinch of cayenne pepper and if you like it a little more spicy, a little bit more heat, you can add more, but you can always do that later. So just start off with a pinch. And don't forget your salt. All right, I think our butter is ready. I think I hear it sizzling. So you wanna make sure that your butter is nice and hot, but you don't wanna brown it. And then pour it into a vessel so you can slowly pour it into your egg yolk mixture drop by drop. And the more of the milk solid fats that you can leave behind, the better. Okay, so we're gonna give this a little whir and then we'll add our butter. All right, drop by drop. there. We actually have a little bit of butter left. I'll go ahead and put it all in. Because if your sauce ends up getting too thick like mayonnaise, you can just add a little bit of, a little bit of water to thin it out or a little bit of lemon juice and it'll come back to a nice rich creamy sauce. Oh my, this is perfect. This is absolutely divine. This is wonderful. We're gonna put this over some steamed asparagus and maybe some poached salmon, a little grilled chicken, so fine. But the last thing you really wanna do before you go much further is you wanna taste it. Oh, that is rich and creamy, a little lemony. Our little timer's going off, so that is pretty awesome. And there we have it, a rich, lush, thick, and creamy hollandaise sauce in just a few minutes. This recipe makes a half cup of sauce, which is perfect for four eggs Benedict. But if you need more, this recipe also doubles very easily. Now for the important tips. Number one, taste it. 
Two, use only one egg yolk, not the whole egg. Three, use very hot butter. Four, pour the butter in very, very slowly. And five, use unsalted butter. If you need a few more pointers or if your sauce is too loose, too runny, too thick, breaks, falls apart, don't worry. Check in the uh, notes below for more troubleshooting tips. This is one of the featured recipes in my new cookbook, Lakeside Table Sauces. You can get your copy at lakesidetable.com. We're gonna use this sauce as a base for mousseline, béarnaise, Chiron, and one of my favorites, Maltese sauce. So definitely stick around for those, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.